Physical and chemical changes and properties. Determine whether each of the following changes is physical or chemical. What kind of property, chemical or physical, is being demonstrated in each case? A. The evaporation of rubbing alcohol. B. The burning of lamp oil. C. The bleaching of hair with hydrogen peroxide. D. The forming of frost on a cold night. A physical change is one that occurs with no change in composition. but there will be a change of state. And by state, we mean going from perhaps a liquid to a gas or a solid to a liquid. A chemical change is one in which there's been some rearrangement of the molecules involved. So there will be a change in composition. So let's apply these concepts to our examples. A, the evaporation of rubbing alcohol. As you learn more chemistry, you'll see that we can represent chemical substances by formulas. For example, the alcohol can be represented by the formula C3 H. 7OH. And we are saying that it is starting in the liquid state and it is evaporating, which means it's becoming a gas. What's important to note here is that when it becomes a gas, there is no change in composition it is still C3H7OH. The only thing has changed is its state. It's now a gas. So this is a physical change. Now, what is the property that goes along with this change? Evaporation is related to the concept of volatility. If something is volatile, we say it evaporates readily. So we'll say that the change is a physical change, and we'll call the property volatility. In example B, we're burning lamp oil. Now lamp oil is a complex mixture that is made up of carbon and hydrogen. V many, many different compounds having carbon and hydrogen. In the process of burning, these combine with oxygen from the air and produce carbon dioxide and water. So the key observation here 
is that there has been a change in composition. The carbon and hydrogen in the various compounds in the lamp oil were just bonded to one another. However, upon reaction with the oxygen, the carbon is now bonded with oxygen and the hydrogen is now bonded with oxygen. We had something different from that which we started. So this is a chemical change and the property is the ease at which these compounds can burn which we can refer to as flammability. Example C, the bleaching of hair with hydrogen peroxide. This involves pigments that impart a dark coloration to the hair of individuals with certain genetic traits and the hydrogen peroxide reacts with these pigments to alter their molecular structure so that we come up with new pigments or perhaps we're just destroying the pigments that existed thereby rendering the hair a lighter color. So because the molecules, the pigment molecules, have undergone a chemical change, we'll call this chemical change and the property would be the susceptibility to bleaching. So we'll just say ease of being bleached. Now the last example, the forming of frost on a cold night, involves water, which is H2O. And the water might exist as a liquid in the air, but as it cools, it becomes a solid. This is uh, a change that involves no ch change in the composition. We start out with H2O, we wind up with H2O, and so this is a physical change. And there's a temperature associated with this. We know that water freezes at zero degrees, and that would be called a freezing point. And the physical property we will record as freezing point. However, it is more likely that the water exists as a vapor meaning H2O gaseous, and upon the formation of frost, 
that becomes H2O solid. Again, this is a physical change. But the property going from a gas to a solid is called deposition. Deposition is the reverse of sublimation. And the temperature at which this occurs would be the sublimation point.